choosing praise the lord hallelujah the god of choosing is so great he's so great by the special grace of god my name is brother if i in chuku eze and i worship in uh, alaba regional headquarters and by, by my right hand is my son and his name is brother emmanuel eze praise master jesus hallelujah so i want to give this god of choosing all the glory thank you father for what he did in the life of my son praise master jesus hallelujah everything started about three wednesday ago three wednesdays ago we we're in the night vigil and my wife called me and said my son is having serious problem in the stomach in fact he cannot sleep and then i told him everything has to be tomorrow and then after the vigil i went to him straight i was thinking it's just a minor thing i went and bought uh, one medicine and gave to him after he took the one medicine the whole thing was as if the trouble started and i went to pharmacies they you know gave me some drugs and i came i came i gave to him he took the drugs everything was as if after two days everything was still worse and then we went to this, conduct a test on him and the test said it is high typhoid high typhoid hmm. and then we started treatment he took five drips and with all the medicines and then on monday that is this monday he was supposed to start school because i have not been going all this while because of this sickness and then monday morning he was still complaining and then i said this thing is getting out of hand i now took him to the hospital that monday morning when the doctor saw him, doctor saw him to lie on the stretcher. He lie, he lie down. Doctor said, ah, "This one, your stomach is swollen like a five months old a pregnant woman." He now put a string in his stomach and drew out a substance that is like milk, and he filled the string. He said, "Bro, this thing is a post. It's possible that he is filled his, has the stomach of your son." He said, "Your son is going to undergo oppression." I said, what? He said, yes. He said, but he advised me to take him straight from here to General Hospital. Let them take good care of him. And I moved him to Baragre General Hospital. When the, doc the doctor there saw him, he looked at him. He now prescribed a, sc a, sc a scan for me. And he told me that I must go and do this scan and bring it today. When I now went and did the scan, unfortunately, it was night. And I went home. And in the morning, I took him with the scan to the doctor. When the doctor looked at the scan, he said I sh that he don't want to deceive me. Nobody should deceive me and tell me that he's going to buy drugs, that this thing is an oppression. That what this thing is saying now, there is an accumulation in, your, in, your, in, the, in the lower abdomen of your son. So he's going to, but he's going to prescribe another scan for me. He now sent me to clinics at uh, Apple Junction here. As a matter of fact, they use ambulance to come, come and carry me and my son hmm. to this place. And that was on Wednesday. After the whole thing, everything ended in the evening. So they now took us with that same ambulance back home. And he said that the result will come, on, will come out on Thursday. And then, by the time I got home, I told my wife, I said, I'm going to come to NIVG. Since the result is going to be Thursday, let me go to NIVG and talk to God. I now took this scan. I took the one of uh, high typhoid. I took the picture of my son with the receipt of 42,600 they gave me for the, for the scan in the uh, clinic here. And I came to the night vigil. After the night vigil, we came to Thursday service. Somebody say, Amen. Amen. That Thursday service, oh, God's vengeance against our enemies. Power. It was actually my program. Hey. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I was sitting there because I, I was carrying a heavy load. I didn't want to the session. I was sitting down somewhere at Hall 32 there. And then our pastor began to pray. Hey. He began to attack the enemy. And then in his word he said, that man that is carrying a doctor's report there, whatever be that report, I cancel it in Jesus' name. Amen. I shouted, Amen. Hey. He said again, whatever they projected into that stomach, I cancel it in Jesus' name. Amen. I shouted, Amen. Hey. Oh my God. What After God? the service, remember that two doctors have told me that this thing is oppression. Hmm. In fact, the doctor in general hospital told me that it's an emergency, that I must do everything this week. I said, okay, sir, don't worry. Let me go and come back. 
And then after the service here, I went straight to clinics. Brother, you need to see the picture of my son. Maybe it's in the stage yes, already. Well, you need it. to see the, stomach, the, 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 the picture of my son after one week. You need to see how my son has disappeared from existence. Hmm. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. And then we went to clinics and took the test, the exam. And then on Friday, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I made a mistake. After that particular day, they gave me this car. And I went and I made my documentation and payment before Wednesday. In the night, on Tuesday night, I began to cry to the Lord. I reminded God of choosing three testimonies in this church. Hmm. I told God of choosing. I remember a brother, brother Obodeze, that fell in the toilet and had stroke, and the tongue twisted, and the mouth cannot open again. And then they brought him, our daddy prayed. And then after some days, in the dream, angels came with a new tongue in a tray. Hmm. They brought it in a tray and gave to the wife of the, this brother and said, Oh, yeah, put this tongue into the mouth of your husband. Hey. And he removed the old tongue and put the new tongue. And then when the brother woke up, that is how his tongue, everything about him was restored. Power! I believe that the brother is here. Hmm. I also reminded God of children of, about the testimony of a woman. That the whole system was decayed. We saw the we saw it on the screen. The whole system was decayed. It was like somebody that is rotten. But when prayer was made by our daddy, a new system was given to this sister. Yes, correct. And then he, he was like a newborn baby. I told God of Chosen, you are the one that did this one. And I reminded God of Chosen again and said, There is a testimony our moderator told us about a sister that he brought our daddy that has breast cancer when we are in the old auditorium and then our daddy canceled the breast cancer and the woman fell down and started sleeping and woke up maybe after two days and then they found a stitch on the breast that is how breast cancer was healed correct very true I I told God that me, if you are the god that did this thing my son will not go for oppression hmm. and then i made another three arguments before god i said god or choosing i since i became a pastor here i can't remember any monday I did not come to night, night VG hmm. on Monday VG. But because of this, my son says, I have failed two consecutive night VG on Monday. I say, God of choosing, this is a distraction. And I say, God of choosing, today is Tuesday. I didn't go to service. And I've never failed Tuesday service in all the branches I've been. But today, I can't be able to go to Tuesday service because of my son. I say, God of choosing, this cannot be. And then last night, I told God of choosing, if this is a, a devourer, it can only be for people who doesn't pay their tithe. But as for me, hmm. I pay my tithe regularly. So you cannot send the water for me. Hey. And then after that particular dream, after that particular encounter in prayer, we went to sleep in the night. I saw myself in the dream where I was injecting myself with an injection. I was giving myself an injection. And I woke up. I said, what kind of dream is this? And then when we are doing morning devotion, I was sharing the dream to my family. My son said he also had a dream. He saw himself when he came to his school and then was sit down, sitting down in the class and he was looking for his textbook. All of them were stolen. I was asking who took my textbook? Who took my textbook? And then they found out it was his friend that was sitting with, with him. They found one of the textbooks. And then when he started challenging him, he now began to bring the textbook from his pocket, I mean from his bag, begin to bring him. Why he was bringing the textbook? The proprietor of the school now came and said, Ah, thank God, Amen, you are back to school. Amen, thank God, you are back to school. And he woke up. I said, God of Jesus have started the work. Power. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. Now, back to the now. After we now do this particular scan, this was the scan. You can see it is three something. It's the three inside. This is the one we took at the Apple Junction here. When we went to General Hospital, the doctor took the two states. He was looking at this one. He was looking at this one. I said, what happened? I said, well, sir, I am a choosing and I'm expecting a miracle. That is what hey. I He said, yes. Because from what I see from this particular scan, I saw cancer of the abdomen. But from this scan that is here now, everything about your son is normal. Power! Hey! Hey! hey. I, I said, oh, but doctor, what are you talking about? He said, my friend, I said, everything about your son now is perfected. I said, does it mean no more oppression? He said, you can take your child and go home. Your child is hey. free. Hey, 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 
power, miracle. Amen. Amen. He just wrote two tablets. I said I should go to pharmacy there and buy it. And I bought the two tablets for 2,400. And this is what doctors have, two doctors have said. It is operation and it is an emergency. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. This is how we left General Hospital thinking they are going to call us back. We left the, the place. We left the, 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 the compound. And we are back home. And my son, he cannot stand like this before. This is how he has been, have been going for almost two weeks. He has been going like this. He can't be able to stand. But today, he is standing very, very sound. Power! Hey! God of choosing answers prayer. prayer. So, this is how today, all the destruction, God of choosing have taken it away from me. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. He said they called it cancer of what? They say this is cancer of the abdomen. I don't know how you put it. Okay, cancer but of the abdomen. He say it's cancer. Hmm. But today, you can see my son now, is now very, very healthy and sound. Thank you, Father. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. So, I don't know the report you are holding there in your hand. Hey! I don't know what the doctors have told you. Our daddy is around. Power! Our daddy will cause that particular report. Hmm. And you will return back with testimony in Jesus' name. Amen. Somebody say, better amen. I want to pray for my daddy in the Lord. I am praying. Caleb was 85 years old. Mm. And then he had the power and to say, give me the mountain. My prayer for my daddy, at the age of 85 years, his strength will be like that of Caleb in Jesus' name. Amen. And all the people that are wishing him evil, Wishing our mommy in the Lord evil, wishing the children evil, evil will surround them in Jesus' name. Amen. And all of us that are here, including me, my son, my family, heaven at last in Jesus' name. Amen. I said I will use a token of twenty thousand because if it had been oppression, hmm. twenty thousand could have been maybe a thousand. Times 20 or times 25 because it could have been a major oppression. That is true, very but correct. I say, seeing God of Jesus has done it for me, I want to use a little token of 20 and say, God of Jesus, thank you, sir, hey. for what you have done. Thank you, Father. May the name of the Lord be glorified forever in Jesus' name. Amen. You are all blessed in Jesus' thank name. Thank you, Father. Let your son say, Praise the Lord. Choosing, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. He is the God of signs and wonders. The God of signs and wonders. God of chosen God of signs and wonders. He has done what no man can do. God of chosen the God. God of signs and wonders. God of chosen God of signs and wonders. He has done what. Amen. We are serving a living God. I don't know how you feel, but it is so great to be a chosen. Just look at the testimonies. The other sister in testimony was caught, and it was death. And then Pastor Pray said, I cancel it. That was the end of it. And then look at this brother again now. Almost gone. Cancer of Abdomen, they said, two doctors said operation, emergency. But the brother believed the God of choosing, believed the God of the pastor of choosing. And they made some little arguments. And God of choosing appeared. And rolled away everything, everything. And today the boy is very normal. Believe this God, fear the God of the pastor of choosing, fear this God. And abide by every teaching and instruction of our pastor. It is real. It's not stories. So that you will live and go to heaven at last in Jesus' name. I don't know the argument you are going to have also in the time of challenge. Our brother believes the pastor of choosing totally. But he has good argument. He said to God, I'm doing this, I'm doing that. I pay my tithe. I don't miss vigils and all kinds of arguments and also was able